In the first video I milled the lumber and cut all my box pieces out, so now we're ready to start some joinery. I've been finding that I really have to be in the right mindset to get motivated to head out to the shop for this kind of work. I figured out there's going to be about 136 dovetails in this cabinet when I'm all done. And I'm cutting every single one of them by hand because uh, who wouldn't want those bragging rights, right? Anyone? I guess maybe it's just a point of pride to say that I did it by hand. It's an age-old art form that should be carried on and passed on to future generations, so I'm trying to do my part to keep it alive. And besides, things that are made by hand always just have more soul than things that are made mostly by machinery, in my opinion. Anyway, to get started I used some blue tape to help me lay out the dovetails. I settled on an inch and a half, center to center, for each dovetail. These Veritas dovetail saw guides are about as close to cheating as you can get without actually crossing the line. There's a magnet inside that your saw sticks to, and you can turn it around to get the perfect angle for your tails and your pins. I also have a 90 degree version that you'll see me use later. It's been a while since I've done this, and for the first few cuts, I actually had the wrong saw. This saw has finer teeth and it's designed for cross-cutting, but later on I switched it out for my ripping blade. If you find this kind of thing boring, you might be subscribed to the wrong channel. Try searching for paint drying or grass growing or golf videos or something like that instead. To get good lines with this thing, I had to become a little ambidextrous. I guess it's a little like riding a bike. After the first few cuts, I got back in the groove and things started to speed up for me a little bit. It's been a while since I've sharpened any of my hand tools, and this was actually the first time I got to use the new sharpening center that I put together, so it was actually kind of fun. I can actually see myself in that reflection. This is the leather stropping wheel and a polishing compound. Downright dangerous. To 
me, this is the fun part. Chop, chop, chop. Over the years, I've tried doing this with a coping saw, band saw, and even a table saw to cut out the waste. But I think it's just faster and easier to just chop it out with a chisel. I use an off cut with a good edge on it as a guide for my chisel for the final pass. I make sure to mark the good edge. This is that 90 degree saw guide I told you about earlier. I'm using the back of the saw with no teeth to sight it right onto my pencil line. With the light shining through it, you can see every little imperfection for the final cleanup. One panel down and only seven to go. <sighs> See you later.